Good evening. Welcome to our uh, information session for the Wind Power Information Session. My name is Ron Barr. I run the Greater Ottawa Truckers Association. I'm also a wine maker, if you can believe it or not. And I run a construction company as well. And uh, That's why you wine so much. That's why I wine so much. <laughs> you know what? I, have a, uh, I was cutting grass in Elmer, Ontario, and I left at noon to race here for this event because it's important to support Beth. And I had a... Uh, there you go, with Beth. And I had a, uh, it's an older winery. We bought it, uh, the lady that uh, bought it won 20 million bucks. She's gonna kill me for that. But anyway, the, uh, one of the poles fell down in that whole fence line. It was all made of wood and it was rotten. It, was, it's, it could fit in an ashtray right now. So one fell down, hit me in the leg, scarred me out there pretty good. And all the rest went with him in the fire pit. So that was it. It is what it is. So we've got some uh, great speakers. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, I travel all over the province of Ontario. I run businesses all over the province of Ontario, and I see these windmills all over. And they're, um, you know, it's funny when you're driving down a road, and you don't even notice them at first, and all of a sudden you look at them. Wow, it's just amazing what you're looking at. Even uh, at uh, Lake Erie, we're at uh, Port Bruce, just uh, south of Elmer, where the winery is, and you can see them out in the water there. You can see them from all over. They're uh, quite big. I did uh, watch... Uh, the, uh, what was that, uh, the wind uh, documentary? Downwind. Yeah, Downwind with uh, Lloyd Griffith uh, the other day prior to our meeting uh, with the landowners when Beth brought it to our attention that there was going to be three and now we learned five different wind projects coming to our area and it was quite compelling. It's, uh, it's pretty disturbing when you have one neighbor standing up by uh, getting benefits uh, to the detriment of another uh, neighbor but uh, they don't seem to care. It's, uh, it seems to be the liberal way of doing business nowadays. They do not listen to common sense. They listen to their uh, special interest groups and people that can benefit from the uh, getting uh, the uh, kind of uh, uh, things that they're dishing out. And I agree, uh, I think Jurgen, you said it best. We've got to do something. These windmills are, are known to cause problems. Uh, they don't like to uh, report those kind of things. But it comes to a point where we've got to win something against the Liberals. We fought like the Dickens for the hydro and they shoved that down our throat. They passed the bill, pretty well laughed at us. Uh, so we've got to do something and I agree with that. We have to get our uh, local councillors and uh, mayors involved as well. What I don't want to hear this time, not unlike the dump where our mayor, previous mayor didn't want to take a position, wanted to wait and see. I think our mayor, by virtue of it being provincial, should stand up and say, you know what, the majority of my municipality do, does not want it. I have to make a stand, whether it's provincial or not, I have to stand up and, and go to bat for my community. But what, I'm going to, what you're probably going to see is you're going to see a couple of liberal mayors in the area that have, you know, what are they going to do? They're not going to go after the liberals and they're going to try to sell it to us and suck us in. And this time, folks, we cannot simply be sucked in. We've got to do what we have to do. And you're right, if we have to block roads, and make a stand like no other time in the history of our area, this is it. And what it's gotta show, it's gotta show the next election. I don't know how they got the majority, I do know how they got the majority, but we have to work right now, we've got three years left to, uh, to now start exposing these guys. Interestingly enough, and Jack McLaren knows this, I was at, I go to all the swearing in ceremonies and all the speeches and such, and I'm going to tell you, when the Liberals won the majority, Jack, last time, I know that most of them, like the Ted McMeekins and, and, and such, they didn't think they were going to win. They were, they were shocked that they had got the majority, and they basically were as arrogant as ever can be. Most of them were going to retire. Most of them, Bob Shirelli should not be sitting in the, uh, at, at Queen's Park. He should not. Ted McMeekin, he destroyed racing when he was the agriculture minister, and this is taped, I'm good friends with, with, uh, with Mr. McMeekin. He swore me as the chamber president when I would ran Flamborough Downs in Hamilton. And Jack, as disgusting as this, I helped him sell liberal memberships way back when, when I didn't know how. Before I shaved, so you know, you know. But, what, but once upon a time, I liked the individual that was running, not so much the party. Now, I don't care what they were. They, they got a red stripe, but I'm not, uh, I, I just don't trust them. It is what it is. Anyway, we've got some great speakers. We got uh, Philip Mayer, who is the uh, president of the uh, Prescott Russell Landowners. He's an Alfred farmer with his wife. We've got Tom Black as well. Tom is a wealth of knowledge. He's, you know, he, he when uh, Jack retires, I think uh, Tom should run for his position. 
We've got the one and only Jack McLaren, who has been an absolute fan and a good supporter of, uh, of, of the truckers. Uh, he walked the bridge with me uh, in the uh, fairness of the two-way street, so he's prepared to uh, throw himself out there and get in involved. We've got Liz Marshall. She's uh, a real unbelievable uh, speaker. She's a wealth of knowledge, uh, amazing. On her card, the only thing she qualifies, she's not a lawyer, but I'm going to tell you, she's smarter than most of them. And then uh, Phil will uh, close up the evening. So without further ado, uh, Phil, come on up and uh, tell us uh, how you're going to uh, defend this proposed five windmills coming to the town.